I think I stopped recording. Did I stop recording? Hey beauties, it's Alicia Desiree and today I'm going to show you what I do. I, I know I gave you a, a video before on how you can make your um, concealer or under eye area not crease but I have a new method that I use that really helps me um, not see the creasing because I noticed that even after their full day's work I was still getting a little bit of creasing under my eyes so I'm going to show you that. I know it's been a minute since you've seen me but your girl got married. Yes I'm a missus now and um, I've just been enjoying married life for a minute so sorry for my absence but it is what it is. But anyway so um, if you are not already subscribed please do so like this video, subscribe, make sure you hit the bell so that you are notified when new videos come up. But right now we're just going to get into it, all right? So first, let me tell you that um, I've already prepped my face. I've put on my primer, which is the Wet n Wild Primer Serum. I really like this. This is probably the best serum. I've used a lot of them. This one and another one, I can't remember. It's like Rose Drops. But this one is real. I really like it because it leaves a really nice base for your foundation. But I'm going to tell you all the products that I'm going to be using in this video. I will list them down below. But what I am going to be doing is the main products that I'm going to be using to show you this is Juvia, Juvia's Place Prep Eye Prime. My... L'Oreal True Match, what is this, oil free all day wear super blendable foundation and I have it in neutral cappuccino in 8 and then I will be using my infallible full wear um, corrector concealer and this is in the color, what color is this, I ain't got my glasses on, y'all gonna have to excuse me, hold on. This is in the color, what color is this? Honey, 415, honey. So, um, like I said, I, I'm i using the, I'll list everything down. I ain't about to tell all y'all this. But those are the main things I'm going to be using. Now, I'm going to show you what I do to prevent my under eye creasing and for it to literally last all day. So I've already prepped my face, I've already put on my primer, and I've done my eyebrows. The next thing that I do is I use Juvia's Place Eye Prep Eye Prime Eye Primer, and this is shade 2. I do have shade, I'm hold on, I also have shade, this is a darker shade, it's shade 3. She does have sh three shades, 1, 2, and 3. And I use two and three based on what eyeshadows I'm going with. But today I'm going to use shade two for the purpose of this video to show how I help with the prevent the under eye creasing. Now the thing that you that I should tell you is you don't need a lot. Literally, this is I'm going to show you how much I use. I put on. Oh, and that's probably too much. You see that? That's that is literally what I that is how much that I put on, and I'm just gonna take my ring finger because I use a little bit too much. See that? That is all I use, and that might be too much. One dot, one dot, and I wipe off the excess, and then. I just tap that under my eye and what this is going to do it's going to prep kind of like how you do your eye your eyeshadow you don't want it to crease you don't want it to get those lines you want it to last all day this is what it's going to do for your under eye concealer you just put a little um, eyeshadow primer under your eye now you want to use shade 3 if you're a little bit darker you want to go to shade 1 if you are of a pale persuasion but I'm using shade 2 is going to make your eyeshadow conceal or your eyeshadow your eye uh, 
concealer literally lasts all day. You won't get any creasing. Because even with the method I showed you before, like putting the putting your primer and then the powder and all that, it's still you still get a little bit of creasing, but I find using this method, zero creasing. Zero. So now I'm gonna take my makeup and I don't use a lot. This is all I need on my face. And I'm good to go now some people like to use the sponge method some people like to use the foundation brush method I like to use the foundation brush brush method because it gets in there and it kind of buffs it out really good and I will say I do like this true match um I've used several and true match really does match it blends i mean it, when you when it first goes on it kind of looks like it's not going to because you probably looking like girl that stuff ain't blending with your with your um skin but uh, the more you go in with it the more it blends in with your skin as you can see and the reason why I haven't done my eyeshadow, normally I do my eyeshadows first, but I didn't this time because I wanted to show you how using the eye primer. So now that you've got that all blend, you're going to go like you normally do with your concealer. And when I do this, I don't go outside of my nose. I stay right within there. Let that dry down a little bit. Now, this is only if you're like, this all that I'm doing is only if you're doing the contour. If you're just going to do your concealer for the day, you can still do the same thing. If you don't want to wear a lot of makeup or you don't wear foundation or you wear um, BB cream, CC creams, or serums, you can still do the same thing. Just put a little bit of that um, eyeshadow primer. And this is really for really helps people if you suffer from dark circles. Like no matter what you do, I mean my dark circles have gotten better with the um, beauty regimen that I do, but I still um, have a, some dark circles that I want to get rid of. It's just hereditary. So you blend that out. Like I said, let your concealer dry down a bit. It helps to blend. And then we're going to go in and blend that concealer under your eye. And you see, you see how clear that is? You see how smooth it is? That's because you use the, the eyeshadow primer and I guarantee you just like how you use your you use it to, so that your eyeshadow so that your eyeshadow doesn't um, crease throughout the day that's what's going to happen with your your um, concealer under your eye I just love this method That blend it out well. Make sure you look up so it stretches your eye up and you can get under that eye area really good. Be gentle around your eyes. And look at that. And it just it your your literally your concealer will last all day and you won't get that creasy. Now you want to set it. 
I don't bake. Let's just keep just. I'm 51 years old. I do not bake. I don't like. I just think it can settle in fine lines once you reach a certain age. So I don't bake. So I do take my um, powder and I just press it in. Get off any excess. and just press it make sure that concealer is set get off a little bit of excess on the brush and brush away any excess on the, under the eyes and your concealer is, is at this point is going to stay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hush my mouth and do the rest of my makeup and you can watch along if you want or you can just say, I've seen enough, and thank you very much, and bye bye But um, that's what you need to do to set your concealer. But I will finish my makeup, and that's when I cue music.
here's what it looks like all done put my wig on feel like going curly today but so oh uh, babies just tell me how you um if it works for you using the where it go using the juvia's place eye prep eye shadow primer or any other type of um eyeshadow primer you have do that on your eyes and tell me how um how it lasts and do you see do you notice a difference when you use this method um with your concealer i appreciate you guys watching please don't forget to subscribe like comment all that other good stuff you know the drill thanks for watching bye